very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of election, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. Its dissenters are silenced. Its dissenters are silenced. Its dissenters. The Bona City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, and blessings to the one third destined for salvation. Ephesians 6 and 12 says, Finally, so that I can start from 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of your that he that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And who's the devil? The devil is the so-called white man, the Edomite man, Esau. The word devil there means deceiver. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, right? Meaning what? Against the rulership, against the ideals. This is an ideal we're fighting against, all right? against the rulers of the darkness of this world who's bringing about the darkness of this world the wicked elites the people in control not the governments you saw what happened to someone that was the head of a government just for talking about these people man openly put to death in front of millions of people on live television man that's how much power they hold man the man talks, this isn't what, this wasn't the work of a random lone wolf, as I like to say, you know, Lee Harvey Oswald, man. This was a planned assassination by the highest of the high on this earth, right? The rulers of the darkness of this world, it says against spiritual wickedness in high places. Those high places, man, are beyond the government. 
that's talking about the real rulers of this earth, man. They don't, the people on this earth are still have no idea who's ruling this earth, man. Who the real kings are on this earth. It's these elites, man. Starting with these bankers and these heads of these corporations, man. Or the owners, I should say, not even the heads, man. They're, they're the unseen. Right? It says, wherefore take unto you the whole armour of Yahabah Shami Awashai, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having none, and having done so like you're all to stand. So what does that mean, man? Putting on that whole armour, man, it means these scriptures, man, being having that understanding and the knowledge to withstand all what this devil's going to throw at you in the day of evil, man. Because the day of evil is not one day. We're in that day of evil right now, man. All right? And the only thing that's going to help you withstand what's to come is the, is the knowledge of these scriptures, man. All right? The Lord has taught us how to withstand and what we're supposed to do to... To, to to not fall into the, the wiles, man, of the devil. Right? He's given us the instructions on how to make it, man. Now, we're not all going to make it, but we pray, those of us that believe, pray that we are, we are of those that are going to make it, all right? All right, and that's faith, man. It's the scriptures say the just shall live by faith, man. You know, that's what we've got. That's what we've got is our faith, man. All right. So we can talk about this. We can, you know, we're, to this devil, man, we're doing exactly what JFK did, man. But to him, we're nothing. You know, but by the time he realizes we're something, it's going to be too late. And when I say that, I mean that in the sense that we're here to prophesy the downfall of this wicked place, man. And this was in this wicked rulership, man. And that's through the spirit and power we have by Shami Osha. That's why it can't be stopped. They can ban they can ban uh you from putting up a video. You open up another channel, you do another video on that channel instead. The word is gonna come out, man. They could kill a hundred prophets, man, and there'll be another hundred to replace because the word is gonna come out, alright? So uh, that's it on that. Just a quick one. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying. I pray that it was as always. Giving all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Kapodash. I say, well, Baba Baba, Shalom.